houses are really close together. Like you could reach out. Very close. You could hold hands like between houses and the through the windows. After performing on the TV series 30 Rock for the past six years in New York, Keith yeah. is looking to buy a home in Los Angeles with his artist girlfriend, Jill. They've seen a house that was bright and airy, but the neighborhood felt too suburban. It feels very cookie cutter. They've also seen a house in an area they loved, but Jill hated the Spanish-style exterior. <sighs> Spanish. I like the neighborhood, but so there's, there's no garage. I know, but this little walkway is so divine. I would like set up my little art studio and paint out here. Today, the couple's real estate agent, Stephanie, is meeting them at a three-bedroom, three-bath home on the northern edge of the Hollywood Hills. Oh, wow. This is awesome. This is kind of cool. It's, it's really private back These here. These plans are my dream. <laughs> it's Look at the little cool. house and the hot tub. Hello. 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 Awesome. Oh, wow. So you can see hey. already. Amazing views. Oh my god, the view is delicious. So it's about 2,100 square feet, built in the 60s. It's listed at 730, which I know is above your price wow. range. But, 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 it's been on the market for a little bit over 90 days. Oh. Wow. So there okay. is room. I know they are looking at all offers. So if you okay. really liked it, we can try to see what we can do. Okay. 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 All right. The room is really open and bright. Yeah, and the, the light. windows There's so much are light so co like coming at you from every angle. I love the windows. There's a lot of light in here. Mm -hmm. This it carpet feels would pretty need open. to be destroyed and burned. We would need to get rid of the carpet. <laughs> Gross. Then if you come along this way, now it could be a wider, I know you guys like big open spaces. You can definitely open yeah. this up. This is the kitchen. I think you could, you know, really do something that there. That wall would have to come out yeah. immediately. The kitchen is really small and really oh, closed off, like, uh, so you couldn't really like flow in and out very easily. I actually really like these cabinets. They're pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, they're a little too dark. We might need to kind of refinish them, but, mm -hmm. but they, they look pretty good. And it looks like this was originally open, I believe, and then yeah. they put something else there, so. I mean, yeah, it, it could be so cost weird. effective. We could just take that out instead of blowing out the whole wall just for a temporary fix until we had enough money to redo mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would open it up. My biggest kitchen concern, however, yeah. is this horrible floor. I I'm mean, sure. the kitchen needs a lot of updating. It really is. Um, it's pretty old. Off the kitchen hallway, there's a bedroom, along with a full bath. And at the end, there's a master suite. Here you have yeah, the I master like the colors. Bath. I like the gray and the black. Oh, I love that there's a double vanity here. Mm. I know, his and hers. <laughs> but where's the shower? It's in the toilet room. Is this a room? It's a little tight, but. Oh, no, that's cool. Well, you have your privacy. Oh, that's cute. That's great. Here is, voila, the master. You know what I like about it? You have a full closet, mm -hmm. a full dresser, two full chairs in here, a king-size bed, and there's still plenty of room to maneuver around. It's this really is cool. great. Jill, I thought this would be an amazing studio space for you. Cool. Uh, very private with its own um, private entrance, actually, if you have clients and so forth. Oh, so laundry room is here. Oh, cool. Shower, and then we have another bathroom right here. Oh, it's so funny that the shower and the bathroom are separate from each other, yes. but kind of funny. <laughs> I like that. I like weird. This could be awesome. There's a lot of space in here for both a guest room and Jill's mm -hmm. artwork. Mm-hmm. So, style-wise, what do you think? I mean, it's Mediterranean, sort of eclectic. How are you feeling about it, style -wise? I really like it. It fits our personality. It's, it's got a lot of character to it. It's gonna cost a lot of money mm -hmm. to renovate the house for our taste, but, you know, that can happen over time. Right, I mean, what you have that, you know, can't be replaced is, like, the views yeah. and the, the views location are... and the walkability. That's what I, you know, it's really cool because it is a very walkable house. It's in a great neighborhood. I agree. I I think this house has an insane amount of potential. It's just the money is a huge factor. Stephanie! Keith have $650,000 max to buy their first home together. We're ready to make a decision. The house 
that's really suburban and quiet. Mm -hmm. I really loved the open floor plan. It really had a great gallery feeling mm -hmm. to it. We really loved the furniture in that house. <laughs> oh my God, the furniture was to die. <laughs> but it wasn't an open kitchen. I didn't really like the finishes in the kitchen either. We're gonna need to do a renovation. The bathroom was so redone and nice bath, though. The bathroom had the master closet in the bathroom. I think that that was one of my favorite bathrooms of all of it. It was beautiful. Yeah, but anyway. the neighborhood is so dull. Yeah. Then there's the house with the... The past the big front yard. Oh, that yeah. deck was such a dream. And it's really close and walkable. You could, mm -hmm. you know, go to places that you didn't have to always get in your car for. But it's Spanish style. <laughs> wow. I think that of all the houses, it had the, the most charm and character mm -hmm. to it. But... That kitchen is so useless. Oh, that kitchen is I mean, awful. the kitchen, I broke two nails trying to open one drawer. And it's pretty much at the top of our budget, mm -hmm. so there would be very little room to renovate. But that house with the view was like my life. I would die. <laughs> but everything needed an update. Do you think you could do that over time? We could do it over time, but there are so many things that would require immediate attention, mm -hmm. like the bathrooms, like the kitchen. Mm -hmm. All of those are really big ticket items that would need to be addressed soon, but it wasn't in our budget. Well, we can definitely try to negotiate it down a bit. It's kind of like take away the view and you're left with a money pit. So which one will they choose? I think that the Spanish style house has way more pros than cons. Definitely. And all we would have to do is renovate the kitchen. Let's um, just make the offer and I'll have you guys sign the paperwork and we'll do the best we can and see what we can get you. All right. Word. I like it. <laughs> we closed on the house about a month ago 